Hey guys, it's Lucy here with cheers to blogging.com. Today I'm going to show you how easily you can add in affiliate links and disclaimers to your blog post without using any additional plugins. And look, I know that you probably freak out whenever you hear that you need to update your HTML coding in order to properly label your affiliate links. And I know that because I was right there with you. Anytime I heard anything about HTML coding, I would kind of shut down and be like, excuse me now, you want me to do what? And then I kind of wouldn't do anything at all because I was so scared I was going to screw something up. I remember I even tried to find some plugins that would do it automatically for me and I think that screwed it up even more. So never again. And I'm going to show you that it's actually super easy. It's super simple to label properly label your affiliate links in your blog post so i'm going to show you not only that but i'm going to give you some simple and easy tricks that are going to help you add in your affiliate links label them properly and add in your disclaimers to your blog post within a matter of seconds every single time i promise you it's life-changing and it's super simple so let's go ahead and get started with showing you how to add in your affiliate links and labeling them. So I'm just scrolling down here and you'll see that I already have my placements for where I'm going to link my text. So whenever you are linking, you're going to highlight the text that you want to link. Then you'll go up here to this little button, paste in your affiliate link and hit enter. Now, when you click out of it, you'll see that the color has changed. When you kind of roll over it, it highlights, it glows. And if you click on it, you'll see your affiliate link there. So now let me show you what the HTML coding looks like afterwards. So I'm going to go to these little buttons, edit as HTML. And then you see all of this and you're like, OK, what is going on and what is this? And where am I supposed to label and what am I supposed to label and what am I supposed to write and like I see my link here but I'm like okay I still don't know what I'm supposed to do keep watching because the next thing I'm about to show you is life-changing and literally does most of the coding for you so I'm gonna go back edit visually and then what you're gonna want to do is click on that link again and set it to open in a new tab. So I want to do this and I highly recommend you do this for two reasons. One, think about your reader. So your ultimate goal is to try to keep your readers on your website for longer. But if you're sending them away from your website whenever you add affiliate links on there, you're sending them away from your website <laughs> and we're trying to keep them on our website for longer. And how can you do both? How can you recommend something and add these affiliate links so you can monetize your blog without sending all your readers away by opening it in a new tab? And not only that, but just because they're clicking on your affiliate link, it doesn't mean that they're ready to leave your page. It just means that whatever you wrote in your blog post was super convincing that they just had to know more about that product or service that you recommended to them. So perhaps they clicked on the link so they can reference it once they're done with your blog post. And so they'll click it, it opens in a new tab, and then they go right back to reading. So think about it in that way. And number two, which is my favorite actually, is that it does the most of the HTML coding for you. I'm dead serious, watch. So I'm gonna go back now, now that it's set to open in a new tab, that's all I did. I'm gonna go back to edit as HTML, and then it changed. All of the coding kind of changed, it looks different. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. This is how you're going to label your affiliate link. And now, since it's already done most of the recoding for you, all you're going to do is go to the front of that and label it sponsored in the beginning. And that's it. You're literally done. This is exactly what it needs to say. 
REL equals sponsor, no referral, no opener. And that's it. You're done. You've officially finished properly labeling your affiliate link. I told you it was super easy and I love that trick. So now on to trick number two. And I'm going to show you how you can add in your disclaimers to your blog post within a matter of seconds each time. But before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about disclaimers and disclosures and why they're super important. But for starters, you need to comply with the FTC guidelines and the FTC guidelines clearly specifies that you need to have a disclosure, a disclaimer at the beginning of your blog post or really before any affiliate links, um, letting the reader know that you might be compensated. And the reason for this is because they, in their heads, and it makes total sense, is that the reader might take it differently if they know that you might be compensated in some type of way. It doesn't necessarily mean that it does because you as a blogger should not be recommending anything that you personally wouldn't recommend in real life. We should only be recommending stuff that we truly believe will provide value to our readers and something that we would use ourselves. So for this reason, you need to let them know and you should only be writing blog posts and recommending products that you truly believe in. But the FTC really wants it in there so that way your customers, your readers know that, hey, I'm recommending these products to you. I personally think they're awesome and I think you're going to love them too, but just know that I do get compensated in some type of way if you do decide to use these links. And some customers may choose to not use your links or some may. I mean, it's, it's really just there for FTC purposes and to let them know. Let them know that they're, there's some sort of compensation going on. But really, again, it goes back to only recommend the products that you truly love and that you truly recommend yourself. Don't just recommend, and I'm saying that in quotations, even though you can't really see that, but don't recommend every product or service out there. It's not going to work. Not only will you not be honest to your readers, but they're not going to buy from you if you're recommending every single thing on the planet. You have to truly focus on the, the products and the services that you truly think are going to provide value to your readers. So my disclaimer is right here. And you'll see that at the end, I do have that though the opinions remain my own. That's my way of letting my readers know that yes, I might get compensated, but I promise you that these are my own opinions. I would not be telling you this or lying to you if, you know, just to get a, a quick book. I truly recommend this product and I hope that you really like it. So this is my disclaimer and I have it at the top of this post and every single post on my blog and it's what you need to have too. So you can use mine as inspiration. Remember, it's never okay to copy, but you can easily create one yourself or in this blog post. I have a ton of information on not only what we're talking about in this video, which is the affiliate links, but the disclaimer legal templates that you should have on your website and the appropriate disclosures that you need for affiliate marketing. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started and show you my last super easy trick to help you not have to type this in every single time you're writing a blog post. And no, I'm not telling you to just copy and paste from like a Word document over. It's much easier than that and it can all be done with your WordPress site. So for the purpose of this video, I already have it typed up here and I'm pretending that I've never typed it up before and that it's my first time or if you already have this typed up in another one of your blog posts, you can still do the same trick. So what you're going to do is click in this block and then we're going to go back up here and we're going to make this a reusable block. So you'll want to click here, add to reusable blocks. And now I'm going to label this affiliate test two. And that's it. 
So now I can use this block every single time I need to add a disclaimer to my blog post. So I'm going to add in a paragraph up here. I'm going to click on this button here. And in this search function, I'm going to type in the name of that block, which in this case, I named it Affiliate Test 2. But you can name it whatever you want, disclaimer, disclosure, affiliate disclaimer, whatever you want, you can name it anything. You'll click on it and voila, it's there. It's done and that took two seconds. So this alone, this is all you have to do in every single one of your blog posts. Just type it in, enter it, and you're done. It's already there forever. And the cool thing is that if you realize that you made a mistake, in any one of these so for example if I had misspelled opinions and I already had it in like five different blog posts you don't have to go into every single blog post to edit that block as long as it's still the reusable block if you hit edit and then you edit right now I'm just gonna add two periods and you save it it's going to automatically update every single other block that you used this one for. So those other three blog posts that you added this reusable affiliate test block for, it already automatically updated. So that's the beauty and the magic of using these reusable blocks in WordPress. And that's it. You're done. All of that literally just took a few seconds of your time, of my time, to update our blog posts and make them affiliate marketing friendly and making sure that they're complying with the law. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and that now you're not scared at all about HTML coding and reusable blocks and disclaimers. But do make sure to check out this blog post as it has so much more information. I'm linking it down below so you can go and reference it. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers to blogging. Bye.